Adult T-cell leukemia slash lymphoma, Wikipedia article audio. Adult T-cell leukemia slash lymphoma is a rare cancer of the immune system's own T-cells. Human T-cell leukemia slash lymphotropic virus type 1 is believed to be the cause of it, in addition to several other diseases. Signs and Symptoms Transmission ATL is usually a highly aggressive non-Hodgkin's lymphoma with no characteristic histologic appearance except for a diffuse pattern in a mature T-cell phenotype. Circulating lymphocytes with an irregular nuclear contour are frequently seen. Several lines of evidence suggest that HTLV1 causes ATL. This evidence includes the frequent isolation of HTLV1 from patients with this disease and the detection of HTLV1 proviral genome in ATL leukemic cells. ATL is frequently accompanied by visceral involvement, hypercalcemia, skin lesions, and lytic bone lesions. Bone invasion and osteolysis, features of bone metastases, commonly occur in the setting of advanced solid tumors, such as breast, prostate, and lung cancers, but are less common in hematologic malignancies. However, Patients with HTLV1-induced Atlantic and multiple myeloma are predisposed to the development of tumor-induced osteolysis and hypercalcemia. One of the striking features of Atlantic and multiple myeloma-induced bone disease is that the bone lesions are predominantly osteolytic with little associated osteoblastic activity. In patients with ATL, elevated serum levels of IL-1 TGF-beta, PTHRP, macrophage inflammatory protein, and receptor activator of nuclear factor kappa B ligand have been associated with hypercalcemia. Immunodeficient mice that received implants with leukemic cells from patients with ATL or with HTLV1 infected lymphocytes developed hypercalcemia and elevated serum levels of PTHRP. Most patients die within one year of diagnosis. Infection with HTLV1, like infection with other retroviruses, probably occurs for life and can be inferred when antibody against HTLV1 is detected in the serum. Transmission of HTLV1 is believed to occur from mother to child, by sexual contact, and through exposure to contaminated blood either through blood transfusion or sharing of contaminated needles. Treatment options that have been tried include Zidovudine and the CHOP regimen. Prolotrexate has also been investigated. Most therapy is directed towards the cancer rather than the virus itself. Recently, it has been reported that the traditional glucocorticoid-based chemotherapy toward ATL are largely mediated by thyrodoxin binding protein 2, suggesting the potential use of a TBP2 inducer as a novel therapeutic target. Recently, megamulizumab has been approved for the treatment of ATL in Japan. Diagnosis at a medical conference in December 2013, researchers reported anywhere from 21 to 50 percent of ATL patients have disease expressing CD30. This suggests treatment with CD30 targeting brentuximab vedotin may be beneficial. HTLV1 infection in the United States appears to be rare. Although little serologic data exist, prevalence of infection is thought to be highest among blacks living in the southeast. A prevalence rate of 30% has been found among black intravenous drug abusers in New Jersey, and a rate of 49% has been found in a similar group in New Orleans. It is possible that prevalence of infection is increasing in this risk group. Studies of HTLV-1 antibody indicate that the virus is endemic in southern Japan, in the Caribbean, South America, and in Africa. Treatment 
ATL is relatively uncommon among those infected with HTLV-1. The overall incidence of ATL is estimated at about 1 per 1,500 adult HTLV-1 carriers per year. Those cases that have been reported have occurred mostly among persons from the Caribbean or blacks from the southeast. There appears to be a long latent period between HTLV-1 infection and the start of ATL. Novel approaches to the treatment of PTCL in the relapsed or refractory setting are under investigation. Prolotrexate is one compound currently under investigations for the treatment of PTCL. Leukemia is rarely associated with pregnancy, affecting only about 1 in 10,000 pregnant women. How it is handled depends primarily on the type of leukemia. Acute leukemias normally require prompt, aggressive treatment, despite significant risks of miscarriage and birth defects, especially if chemotherapy is given during the developmentally sensitive first trimester. Epidemiology Aggressive, Cesare disease Research In pregnancy Adult T-cell leukemia slash lymphoma